So I think I'm gonna go with the red. I like the way it looks. It's the red. It's attaching to, uh, where is it? Off of the. All right, guys, I am gonna do a real quick uh, look over what I did. And this is prior to before you see the video. And I just wanna tell you what you need to do first so that you understand uh, what I did. Because when I was taking this apart, I was going through the process of figuring out what's what. But I'm gonna give you the insight of how you can approach this in a better way than, than what I did. Uh, to achieve it without no no problems in breaking any of the uh, your trim work on the on the dash. So to start, um, in order to remove the glove compartment and this lower this lower part of the panel, you're gonna have to take this trim out. Okay. Uh, then after that. You're going to take this this portion out, but before you do this, you need to take this this out first. This bottom portion out, and there's, I believe there's three screws here. There's one there, one there, and I believe uh, another one here down and below. Once you've done that, and you've taken this trim out, uh, the radio kind of falls on the little notch of this this trim so there's two ways you can approach this you can either loosen the radio and kind of wedge it up a little bit or take the radio out slightly and then pull this these two trims out uh, they're both attached and the way this this is set up is that this these two pieces are sitting on top of this you're not going to be able, excuse me you're not going to be able to take this out unless you take this trim out and that goes as well as this. Once you've gotten this out, this out, then this will come off. This has a screw up here and a screw on the corner, but you're gonna have to take this corner corner piece off first before you can take this off in, uh, in order to expose that screw. Now coming to the glove compartment. Um, the way I did it first was that I, I started taking the glove compartment out first and it you can't do that. You have to loosen the three bolts on the airbag. There's a bolt here and two bolts over there after you take that one trim out. And this whole airbag pulls out. It's, it's held by tabs, but you have to be gentle when you pull it out. Once you've taken it taken that out, there is one screw that is covered by this, this uh, cover. Um, and that will, you know, once, once you have all the screws loosened, that will re be able for you to remove this glove compartment out. And once you've got all that taken out, most of this top portion, um, then you're going to, then you're going to work on this if you need to get to this. And before you can do that, you need to take this whole console out on the bottom of the console. There's a little rug down there with two 10 millimeter bolts in the back. You got to loosen that. And then <clears throat> that would allow you to be able to um, uh, pull this. You can pull this out, but you're, you're going to be able to, once you get this out, you'll be able to uh, loosen two screws and slide this, this back portion of the console out. And then you can work on this. Uh, and this is straightforward. It's not no science behind it. You'll see it on my video uh, I, I, You'll you know it shows what exactly what I did Follow these steps and you're not going to have a problems in taking uh, This stuff apart. Obviously, I got it all back together um, My wiring is super clean. Everything works well um, 
it's a it's a beast there's a lot of work to this but once you get it done and you add what you want then you should be good to go i added three things to this i added floor lights i added uh a usb uh outlet in my inside of the console got rid of the old 12 volt uh cigarette lighter that was in there and um what else did i add i can't remember oh and i add the um the light bulb to the glove compartment watch the rest of the video and you'll see how uh, everything uh, was done and how it came out